Okay, everybody. Um, I actually did a uh, cone 10 firing on Thursday uh, morning, and then I was away for a couple of days doing some fishing. And I just got back. I'm going to open this kiln up, see how everything uh, came out. I did a few different glaze tests and some other stuff. Uh, here's my firing chart. This was a six and a half hour firing, I believe. Um, I'm not sure how much this kiln went into reduction. I got a feeling it wasn't enough. I kind of peeked in there right before I left. I was about 600 degrees and threw a flashlight in a peephole, and the body didn't look that that reduced. But uh, we'll we'll see how it how it is when we open it up. Uh, here we go. What I did is I put a kiln shelf down in case this ITC or something fell on top of it. I didn't want it to fall on the pottery when it, when it was um, firing. That's a good hard crust on there. I think if I give that a brushing, nothing else will fall down. But very happy with that. That's very crusty and hard. Nothing really fell down onto this kiln shelf from it either. These These little black spots are from some welding I was doing, so... That looks pretty good, so let me grab, um, let me grab, uh, the shelf out of here and we'll check it out. <clears throat> okay, it seems like I have some problems. Uh, I have a chart here. A little map of what I fired. Uh, this is the top shelf. So then, we'll go tomato red. So it looks like I have some pretty severe bloating here. Bad, bad bloating. Probably went into reduction too soon. Would be my guess. I accidentally put it in too soon. This is um, Simon Leach's celadon recipe. I, uh, I kind of like it on this clay body. Oh, this clay body isn't treating me too well lately, though. A lot of bloating problems with this, and that's a that's a real bad one. So that'll get a hammer. More bad, bad bloating from that from that clay body. I don't like that at all. Uh, this was um, red iron oxide decoration and. Um, uh, blue um, decoration. I like the way that came out, except for that terrible bloating. It's awful. So that one's getting a hammer too. Another vase, more bloating. Oh, isn't that fun? Tomato red on the bottom. And the selenite on the top, and an iron oxide uh, brushed on the top. Bad bloating. That's a mess. Reduction there. I guess it did go into reduction pretty good, but I think what happened is I started it too soon and it caused that bloating. More bloating, tons of bloating. Just terrible. This is a white stone stoneware clay body. No bloating there. That's that's fine. This is just a glaze test. It's a Tomoko glaze. Not too bad. I kind of like that. I like doing glaze tests in bowls because it tells me how it pools or whatnot. And this is a tomato red glaze. I kind of like that too. Some browns and some reds in there. Nice and shiny. I like that. That white clay body is is uh, actually pretty cool. Got a few specks in there. Definitely um, having problems with bloating with this stoneware body. This was a potter I have been in some correspondence with in, in Maine. And I'm pretty sure I put these in a reduction too soon. Although I started reduction about 20, about 2,000 degrees, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. More bloating on that pot. Look at that. Tough. 
Nice shape pot though, obviously. Inspired by Simon and his his tiered bowls. So it looks like looks like I'm gonna have to try and get a new stoneware recipe because I I'm not I'm not impressed with this at all. Okay, so uh, that's one shelf. Cone nine and cone ten are down. So that was a definitely a cone ten firing. So let me pop this next shelf. I'll be right back. <laughs> 